Hey friends, happy Easter Sunday. Woo woo. I hope the Easter bunny has been good. And uh, I'm pretty sure the chocolate is fat free on a day as special as today where we get to celebrate. We get to celebrate Jesus's resurrection. Our scripture passage today is from John chapter 20, verse 11 to 16a. And it says these words. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus's body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, woman, why are you crying? Who is it that you're looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned toward him. So Jesus, wasn't that illegal for you to break the seal the Roman guards put there? Bursting the bonds of death itself to come again larger than life? And was it wise to present yourself first to the women? So lowly in social standing, their word meant nothing in court. And why did you keep appearing suddenly to the huddled believers behind locked doors for fear of their enemies, scared out of their wits to hear you say, peace be with you. And isn't it the case that they were never the same again, these ordinary people who had been so cowed, receiving your Holy Spirit, emboldened to begin the work you set in motion? speaking life and health and peace to all who would listen. This is what our newborn church looks like. Blessed. Blessed in our fear and inadequacy, blessed by your faith in us, blessed that we received by your own hand, the gift of hope, the beginning of the end of sin and of death. We follow you as best we can along the downward path with all the humility we can manage. You came back to us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Our reflection prompt. The downward path, does it hurt? Can it embarrass you? Is it absurdly inconvenient? Yes, yes, and yes. But also we are learning to tell the story of our lives. We are loved. We are strengthened even when we feel undone. We learn to serve even as we ask for help. What has the downward path looked like for you? And friends from our family here at Grace United Church to your family at home, we are wishing you a very blessed and joy-filled Easter. May you take the time to see the gift of love that Jesus represents for us and to know that you are loved beyond measure, regardless of who you are, what you've done, or what you will do, and that you are enough just as you are. Easter blessings, friends. Take care.